Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to play with the, all the text functions. So we have character function, we have concatenate function, we have length function, we have replace function, new line function, starts with function, write function, left function, mid function, in str function, ends with function, lower function, upper function, trim, trim start and trim end functions. We will start one by one. First, we will start with the character function which is chr character function is used to get the characters represented by the given numeric code if you are putting 65 it will give you a, a alphabetical number a if you will put 66 it will give you b so like once you will increase this number you will get these alphabeticals here like a b c d if you will put one then also you will get some characters let me show you here click on paste so here in the code we need to enter that specific code so if i'm putting 65 so it will give us a i have already taken this chr as a data item stage now click ok right click set next stage now here you can see we are getting a so let's say 65 plus 5 that is 70 see so if i am putting a 70 so we'll be getting here right click set next stage and we are getting f because a b c d e f so after 5 we will be getting f now here we have concatenate concatenate combine two string two values let me double click on that and from here we have concatenate and in this blue prism we are using an person to concatenate two values so here let's say example we have a and b and we are going to combine so for that we have to use an person that is concatenate which will give us output as a b so let me take here operand a and operand b so in the operand a i'm going to take input one in the operand b i'm going to take input two just paste that one so using this and person we can concatenate two values now click ok now here we have input one in this one i'm going to put here initial value that is blue prism okay now click OK and in the input 2 I am going to put here RPA. Click on reset. Now we have this value. Right click set next stage and step. Now you can see here in this one we have this output that is concatenate and after concatenation of two data stage value we are getting this one. So currently we don't have any uh, space here or any other characters. So if you want to combine that also with this two input values, so what we can do, we can put here this space. Now here again you need to put and person because now we are going to combine this with this and this one space. You can also put hyphen, you can put a space, whatever value you want to enter you can do. right? Now click OK. Now what will happen, right click set next stage and then will have a space between these two value now we have length function length function is used to get the length of that specific string paste here and here we are going to enter that text the function name is len now i'm going to take here input one and then we'll see the output click ok so it will give us the number next now you can see we are getting nine now you can calculate from here it starts from b1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we are getting nine that is the length now here we have a replace replace function is used to replace the old value with the new value right let's say here we have replace function so one text i am going to put here concatenation value concatenate this text now in the pattern what we are going to find so we are going to find uh, a space this is just a space and here the new text i am going to put here hyphen click on paste now here in the pattern we are not getting anything because i just want to use a space here so here it's not showing but what you can do you can remove and then you can show like this so it will find a space from this value from this input and then replace that space with the hyphen now click OK, set next stage and now you can see here that a space is replaced by hyphen. One more example you can see that is you know when we use 
Syntax Data Solutions application, after completing one order, after adding one order, we get a reference number and in that reference number, we get a value like, uh, please note this reference number and after that we get a, a number, right? So, this value will be replaced and only we will be getting our numeric values, I reset that one and in the input one, let us say I have this value. So, we always get some uh, this reference number after adding orders. Now, let me first copy this one before this number because we know that always we get this as a hard coded value. This is the constant fixed value. Copy this. Now, in the replace, we will be taking the value from input 1 here, input 1. And now, what we are going to find? So, we are going to find here this value and then we are going to replace with the blank like without without any space so what will happen it will remove all the spaces and re remove this value also and we'll be getting getting just uh, that number so click ok right click set next stage and you can see here we are getting 52495 now we have new line let me reset let me put that a specific value again that is blue prism blue prism now in the new line so new line is used to append the new line to the existing value so let's say here we have new line and i want to append to the existing value so what is the existing value so in the existing value let me paste here so here we need to enter the existing value input 1 will be our existing value and then and person and then new line it means after this value I want to add a new line and then I am also going to add so let me combine here let me put a concatenatory here so it will again combine and in the next line it will write input 2 that is RPA so we should have output like blue prism in the next line will we should have RPA right click set next stage and you can see here we are getting output like this click here you can see blue prism next line rpa now we have in str function in str function is used to get the starting point of a subsection of text for example we have this value that is example and we are going to put here mp so, it will check that this value, what is the starting point of this value, so MP, so it will give you the number. So, MP starts here, so it will start from 1, 2, 3, 4, so it is starting from 4 number, so the result will be 4. This thing you can also use as a contents, so like this value, this string contains in other string or not, like this sub string contains in other string or not the same thing you can use let me show you so in the in str let me take here in the text i am going to take concatenate which will give us value like blue prism space rpa and then what we are going to search we are going to search that in this concatenate it means from this string we are going to search the substring substring that is rpa so, RPA is available in this or not. If this is available, so it will give you the starting point, the number. So, it will start from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then one space also will be counted. So, 10, and then it will give you 11. So, output will be 11. So, it will search this value, this substring, in this string, and then give, give you the starting point. So, let me click OK, right click, set next stage and then you can see we are getting 11. Now we have mid function, which is this. So mid function is used to get the value, get the middle value from the string. So let's say we have a string that is blue prism RP. And if I want only prism, so for that we have to pass some parameters here, click on paste. Our text is I am going to take concatenate as a text. 
now from the starting point so my starting point is let's say here so 1 2 3 4 5 so I want from prism so from a starting I want from 5 the starting point is 5 so I'll put here 5 and now what will be the length of your text that the middle text that you want so I want 1 2 3 4 5 I want 5 length of this text that is prism so I'll put here 5 so it will start from 5 and and then after that it will give you the length that is 5 which is, which is prism so we'll be getting now prism click next you can see here prism now here we have left left function will give you the value from the left so let's say here we have a this example the text and then we want only three from the left from only three length so it will give you exa so click on paste and now i have again that concatenate blue prism rpa and now length is so now there is no need to enter the starting point because we are taking the data directly from the left i just want blue prism so i will take the length only like b l u e so that is 4 and 5 here 9 so i want from left up to 9 length now click ok and click next you can see here we are getting blue prism now we have write function so write function will give you the value from the right now that is also there is no starting point because we already have the starting point which is from the right side so we'll just pass here the text that is concatenate and the length you want you need to pass here i want only rpa from right side so we'll pass here one two three so we'll pass three which will give us rpa from right side if i want prism rpa so i'll put here one two three then one space four five six seven eight nine so i will put nine then it will give us prism space rpa so currently i am putting three so which will give us rpa only now click next you can see we are getting rpa now here we have a stars with function the stars with function will check that that the specific text starts with the the given value or not the given text or not click on paste and this will give us the output as a flag that is true or false which will just find that let's say uh, I'm going to take here concatenate which is blue prism and then I'm going to check here that this value this string starts with B or not if this value starts with the B letter then it will give us true if not it will give us false okay now click next you can see here we are getting let me show you starts with so we have this one we are getting true if i am putting here so you know that in the blue prism concatenate value we are getting blue prism rpa which is starts from b now if i am saying that is this a starts with l or not which is on the second number click ok right click set next stage and see here we are getting false because this does not start with l this starts with b only right now if i'm putting b so i'm not saying like just put a b here you can put complete a word also like blue you can also check by this way like it, it starts with blue or not so yes it starts now here same we have ends with so it will check that the specific string is ends with any other text or not paste i'm going to again take the value input from concatenate that is blue prism rpa and then ends with a or not i'm going to check that this value ends with a or not we have rpa which ends with a so it will also give you true or false so let me go to next stage and now you can see here in ends with we are getting true because this is ends with a rpa if i am putting here b so which will give us false because this not ends with blue prism rpa which not ends with b so we are getting false 
now here we have lower function lower function is used to is used to change the case of that string to the lower case so we have this lower in the text let me put here concatenate paste here so we have lower function which will just convert this string this text to the lower case click on next and you can see here all the value all the letters are in lower case now same way we have upper function upper function will change the all the letters to the upper case this now click on paste and here in the text we'll put here concatenate click ok and now click next and you can see here all the value are now converted to the upper case now here we have trim so we have three functions that are trim trim start and trim end trim function is used to trim spaces the white spaces or the blank spaces so here we have this space so this space we cannot remove we cannot trim using trim function we can only trim which is adding which is available here before this uh, blue prism and after this also so this space we can trim now double click on this trim function and then click on here now we have trim click on paste and then we'll take value from this concatenate so we'll take this here now click ok and now you will see here here we have a space right let me copy this and paste here also now click next now you can see here in this trim if you can see we do not have a spaces here but in the input we have the space here we have a space here also here also but after trimming we can remove the extra spaces from the string here we have a trim start sometime we have a requirement to clear the extra spaces trim the spaces from the start only not from the end as you can see we have the space in the start also and in the end also but we have a requirement to do not remove the spaces from here because at the end i want to combine some other text here after this blue prism rpa that's why i don't want to remove this space i want to add something uh, let's say uh, blue prism rpa is a tool something like that right so that's why i have this trim start so for that we have the this trim start we'll click on paste and we'll remove the text here and then we'll take the same input as a concatenate click ok and click next now you'll see here we have this value where the first the starting space has been removed and in the last one we still have that space right you can see here now this can be also removed from text using trim end now from the text function we have this last one that is trim end trim end is used to trim the spaces from the last one so we have this trim and function click on paste remove this take the concatenate now click ok and click next now you can see here we have spaces in the starting but we have deleted from the last from the end because we have used trim and which will clear the spaces from the end and we have trim start which will clear the spaces from start but will have that spaces in the end but trim function will check all the extra spaces from the string and then it will delete that one you can see here we do not have any spaces here right so this is the use of trim trim start and trim end and this is the complete use of text function which is native functions